Hello guys, Assalamu alaikum and good morning. Today, lecture number 10, we will go to learn about the uh, different area and the different surface area of the on the femur bone, where is the different type of the muscles or different muscles are attached on the different parts of the femur bone. Let's we will go to start from the uh, proximal uh, end or the superior or the interior portion of the femur bone. This is the uh, proximal end and the interior proximal and the interior uh, interior portions of the femur bone now this is a greater trochanter and this is the lesser trochanter the greater trochanter which is present on the lateral side of the head of the femur and the uh, lesser trochanter which is present on the medial side and below of the uh, head of the femur uh, this is the interior portion uh, just if you are looking on the greater trochanter on the top of the greater trochanter is a, a circular surface area is here on the this circular surface area is for the attachment of the preformis muscle is attached over here this rounded uh, circle area which is a present on the greater trochanter area and this area is for the attachment of the preformis muscle is attached over here just below of the preformis area of the interior uh, surface area of the greater trochanter is another longitudinal area over here and this longitudinal area which is a present on the greater trochanter on the interior surface and this area is for the attachment of the gluteal minimus muscles the gluteal minimus muscles is attached over here at just at the base of the greater trochanter at the base of the greater trochanter just below of the gluteal minimus area is another longitudinal area which is present on the horizontal view which is present on the horizontal way and this area is for the attachment of the vastus lateralis muscle is attached over here the vastus vastus lateralis muscle is attached over here if you will look at the uh, on the medial surface on the medial side of the uh, of the medial side and the interior medial side of the lesser trochanter on the lesser trochanter is a line over here which is a star from the interior side and will goes on the posterior side just below of the lesser trochanter and this line is called the spiral line and this spiral line is for the attachment of the vastus medialis muscle the vastus medialis muscle is attached on the spiral line you are looking over here in another area which is uh, on the present on the lesser trochanter and this area is for the attachment of the psoas major muscles the lesser trochanter area is for the attachment of the uh, psoas major muscle is attached over here if all you are looking on the on the interior side on the interior side of the shaft of the femur bone the shaft of the femur bone from the interior side is a convex in shape and it is also smooth in surface and this whole area is for the attachment of the vastus intermedialis muscles this whole area of the interior surface of the shaft of the femur is the major portion of the uh, interior surface of the shaft of the femur is covered for the attachment of the vastus intermedialis muscle is attached over here now we will come up on the uh, on the on the superior view if you are looking here at the superior view of the greater trochanter this is a greater trochanter and just at the medial side or below of the greater trochanter is a fossa is here uh, this fossa is called the trochanteric fossa and this fossa is called the trochanteric fossa the outer border of the uh, trochanteric fossa is for the attachment of the obturator externus muscle is attached over here just at the outer border at the outer border of the trochanteric fossa is for the attachment of the obturator externus muscle and the inner 
uh, of the surface, the inner surface of the obturator trochanteric fossa is for the attachment of the obturator internus muscle is attached over here. Now I will come up the, on the uh, posterior view of the uh, proximal end of the uh, femur bone and the posterior uh, uh, surface area of the uh, of the femur bone or the proximal area is this is a greater trochanter and this is a lesser trochanter the, and between the greater trochanter and the lesser trochanter is a line over here and this line is called the intertrochantic line intertrochantic line on the Enter on the uh, intertrochantic line is a tubercle over here, and this tubercle is called the uh, quadrate tubercle. And this quadrate tubercle is for the attachment of the quadratus muscle is attached over here. On the uh, posterior surface, on the posterior surface of the greater trochanter is an oblique surface area is over here and this oblique surface area is for the attachment of the gluteal medius muscle this is for the gluteal medius muscle on the interior side it is for the gluteal minimus muscle on the posterior side of the greater trochanteric uh, this is this this surface area is for the gluteal medius muscle is attached over here on the just below of the greater trochanter just below of the greater trochanter of the base of the greater trochanter posterior side is a tuberosity is here and line over here the tubercle line over here and this greater tubercle line is called the gluteal tuberosity or gluteal line and this gluteal line or gluteal tuberosity is for the attachment of the gluteal maximus muscles gluteal maximus muscles is attached over at the just at the medial side on the middle of the just below of the intertrochantic line is an c-shape area is here and this c-shape area is for the attachment of the pectinus muscle the pectinus muscle is attached over here uh, just below of the lesser trochanter just below of the lesser trochanter is another area is here and this area is for the attachment of the iliacus muscle the iliacus muscle is attached or uh, attached over here which is uh, originate from the iliacus surface area of the ilium bone and come up and attach over here when and the posterior side the gluteal line the spiral line when comes downward when it is reached at the middle of the uh, superior medial portion of the shaft of the femur bone it will it will make a single line over here and this single line is called the lina spera this single line is called the lina spera and this single line of the lina spera is for the attachment of the adductor magnus muscles the adductor magnus muscles is attached over here at the lateral side at the la uh, lateral side of the lina spera the lateral side the lateral border of the lina spera is for the attachment of the adductor brevius muscles the lateral side of the lina spera is an uh, uh, area for the attachment of the adductor brevius muscle is attached over here. On the medial side of the lina spera is an uh, uh, area for the attachment of the adductor longus muscle is attached over here. The lateral side is for the adductor brevius muscles and for the left from the medial side of the lina spera is for the adductor for the attachment of the adductor longus muscles when we will reach at the uh, inferior portion of the uh, of the posterior side of the uh, this is the popliteal surface and this is the popliteal surface this is the uh, medial condyle and this is a lateral condyle just above of the medial condyle this area is for the attachment of the gastrocnemius muscle gastrocnemius muscle is attached over here just above of the uh, medial condyle 
on the popliteal surface and on the lateral side of the just above of the lateral condyle another surface area this area is for the attachment of the plantarius muscle is attached over here okay this, so this is all about the different area or different surfaces uh, which is uh, present of the femur bone on the interior side on the posterior side just for the attachment of the different type of the muscles is attached over, over, over here i hope you are enjoyed a lot from the today is learning uh, video sessions if you have any sort of the queries or any question you can email me or you can um, uh, comments in my uh, youtube channel inbox it is a very learning session for you all and the uh, after the watching of the uh, uh, video of the anatomy and physiology please subscribe to my youtube channel hph and press the bell button thank you so much